My friend, the coronavirus is here. It's posing a major threat on the housing market. Could derail sales if buyers stop making offers, if small businesses continue to struggle to keep the doors open, and these massive corporate layoffs continue. But my friend, in every crisis, there's an opportunity. And in every massive crisis, there's a massive opportunity. And the question is, if you're going to be one of the real estate entrepreneurs that take advantage of this coronavirus opportunity, I know that I'm going to take advantage of it. So stick around to this video. I'm going to show you five opportunities that exist in today's market because of the coronavirus. All right, my friend, so let's dive straight into this thing. So first and foremost, what I want to say about this is that, look, I'm not diminishing that that people are dying from the coronavirus, right? That there's real struggle, there's real, you know, uh, major issues going on right now. But also at the same time, like we have to look at the facts and we have to look at the data. And so far, the fact is like, like 80 or 90 percent of more people that die every single year just because of the common flu, right? So we've got to look at this for what it is and we've got to see that and understand and realize that there's a, definitely a political and a media aspect that's driving a lot of this fear and everything that's going on in this chaos. And like I said in the intro, in every crisis, there's an opportunity. So let's start diving into this and looking what the opportunities are. Before we do that, let's quickly talk about the issue, right? So early this year, and I'm, I'm going to talk specifically about the United States, Earlier this year, the uh, Health and Human Services Department basically declared a, a, a health emergency for the United States, uh, and basically this was titled a pandemic, right? So we've got a pandemic on our hands. So what does that mean? Basically, when there's a new virus or some type of illness that emerges that affects people and it's, it's sustainable, meaning it's spreading rapidly like it is right now and there's no immunity against it right there's not a vaccine or anything that they can do uh, to, to prevent it in the short term so obviously depending on where you're at in the world in the u.s it's affecting people differently we get that duration severity of each phase like we don't know we don't know where this thing is going to go. We don't know how long it's going to last. We don't know how big the impact is going to be. All that we know is it's here and it's now. So let's focus on what we do know, right? Let's focus on the things that we do know. And let's start to dive through some of the data. Let's look at past history, right? Because past history is always one of the greatest ways to determine what the future. So let's look at it because there's some, so there's going to be some key takeaways if you stay through this whole video. By the way, I've been instructed to let you know you need to hit that like button. You need to hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be sharing tons of valuable information on this and upcoming videos. And I'm going to hit you straight with truth and keep it real, my friends, here on Real Estate Fundamentals. So do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe. All right. So by let's, let's, jump right into this part now. So here's what we do know. First and foremost, job and productivity losses are going to impact the market. It's happening already. You've seen massive, massive corporate layoffs. You're seeing all these schools shutting down. You're seeing small businesses closing, uh, big events closing. I'm here in Houston every single year. The livestock the Houston Livestock and Rodeo Show is one of the biggest, I believe the biggest rodeo in the world. If you're in Austin, Texas, South by Southwest, all these massive events that are major, major uh, re uh, revenue generation uh, events for our cities and for our small businesses have been shut down. They're stopped. The NBA, Major League Baseball, uh, the golf, uh, the PGA, uh, uh, March Madness, all of these these massive events that generate money, not only for the big companies, but for small businesses as well. All these ancillary benefits, these events are shutting down. It's happening already. And so as a result of those things, other businesses are shutting down as well or cutting back production. People are going to be laid off. People are not going to be going to work because of illness or just threat of illness. People are traveling or being quarantined. Um, people are staying home, uh, need to care for their children, elderly, sick. All these types of things are doing what? They're creating fear. They're creating uncertainty in the marketplace. And here, 
this is basically the introduction to opportunity number one. So opportunity number one is that there's going to be less competition from real estate investors, right? Inexperienced, undercapitalized real estate investors are going to flee the market, right? So I've been in real estate 13, 14 years now. So I was fortunate enough to be in the market in 2008. That was only my second year in real estate, right? The difference for those of you who've been in real estate during that period of time, 2007 was completely different than 2008. Why? Because of capital. It was easy to get capital. It was easy to get financing. The real estate market was going up, 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 up. And everyone, everyone in the market, well, not everybody, but so many of the naive really never thought that market was going to come down. What came? What started happening in 2008, the, mount, the most massive real estate crash we've ever seen, right, since the Great Depression maybe even greater, happened in 2008, 2009. I was there in that market, and it created a, an incredible opportunity for those that stayed in the game because there was less competition from other investors. So my encouragement to you, if you're a new real estate investor, if you're, if you're one of those that you're, you're experiencing fear and you're wondering if you should get out of the market, my friend, I'm going to encourage you. I'm going to con encourage you and have you consider that times like this are some of the greatest opportunities for those uh, those of us that stay in the game, that look for the opportunities, right? Because right now, the novice, inexperienced, uh, undercapitalized real estate investors are fleeing from the market. So I want, I want to encourage you to stay in this market because there's going to be massive, massive opportunities. And the same thing for the stock market, right? When there's fear, when there's uncertainty, when there's all this you know, massive chaos, chaos that's being blasted by the media and social media 24-7, like people are freaking out. You've already seen it happen in the stock market. The stock markets are, are tanking. Like they're dropping like a freaking bad habit, like on a daily basis. People are scared. When they're scared, they pull their money out of the stock market. That's what's happening exactly right now. And that is opportunity number two. Is that there's more private capital available in the marketplace. I saw this in 2008 and 2009, a little bit about my story. Whenever I was investing in 2007, I was able to get hard money loans and take them to the bank and get refinanced. I did that 10 times, even though I started with no money and basically like no experience whatsoever. I bought 10 rental properties in 2007. However, in 2008, when the real estate market crashed, what could I do? I couldn't get loans. The banks were shutting down. They weren't loaning to real estate investors. That wasn't happening. So I began to put together partnerships, right, with private lenders that became my partners. And we went out and bought properties. When I say we, me, I went out and bought properties. I basically had an open checkbook with my partners. Why? Because they had pulled money out of the stock market. They had that fear. They didn't trust Wall Street, and for good reason. I don't know why anybody you know, really does. But anyway, so they, they invested it with me and partnered with me, right? And that's the same thing that you guys can do in this market because investors are going to continue to pull money out of the stock market. And I always say the private money law of attraction is that private lenders are attracted to mainly two things, right? Trustworthy people and good deals. Guys, we're in the, on the verge of getting some incredible deals in this market. That are, that are incredibly, incredibly great deals, but they're backed by real estate. And that's what we have as real estate investors that we can offer to private lenders um, that the stock market can't. So that is another, another amazing opportunity. So I just want you to consider, if you're thinking about pulling out, and one of your big struggles uh, in your real estate business has been raising money or getting financing for your deals. I'm telling you, there's going to be a floodgate of opportunity to get your deals financed. So number three, opportunity number three, because of all this fear, because of all this anxiety and everything that's going on in the world today, motivated sellers who have been slightly motivated or about to become extremely motivated sellers People that weren't motivated sellers at all are now going to move into the motivated seller category. We've already seen our lead, uh, our deal flow go up just in the last week. We're getting more and more uh, inquiries every day. People filling out forms, going to our websites, searching us up on Google and Facebook, all those types of things, and filling out a form saying, 
I want a cash offer. I want to sell my house now. Because let's think about some of the dynamics going on right now. People are pretty much like sitting at home. They're locked up in their homes, watching the news, playing on social media all day long, pretty much being inundated with the message that the world is going to hell in a handbasket. We're all going to die. The coronavirus is going to kill everybody. Businesses are shutting down. Stock market's crashing. Oh, my God. Like people are freaking out. Anxiety is through the roof. People are stressed out. And, and you know, for a lot of America, uh, a lot of our potential uh, sellers that we're going to buy from, their financial situation is probably less than ideal anyways. They're locked up in this house. It's probably distressed, needs some repairs. They're looking at all the, you know, cracks in the wall, the outdated whatever, backsplash and tile and worn out carpet. They're seeing all this stuff. They're going online. Hopefully they're seeing in your advertising, saying that you buy houses. I know that they're seeing mine and you know, they're more likely to accept a 50% cash offer than they've ever been before, you know, because once again, um, once again, when people are experiencing fear, they're, they're going to do, you know, one of a few things. They're either going to panic, right? They're going to panic and, and do something foolish. You know, they're going to freeze up and do nothing. Right. And, and whether, whether they panic and whether they, you know, let their fear lead them and and sell their house at a discount, um, we'd love that, and, and, and we'd like to help them with that, right? And I'm sure that you would too. Or they're going to do nothing, right? They're going to do nothing. They're going to sit still. So either way, it's going to impact the market because there's going to be less uh, less people listing their homes with agents. Like people are even freaking out and like reluctant to uh, list their homes, and they're taking their homes off the market just because they, they don't like the risk of people coming, like strangers coming through their house that could be infected with the coronavirus and just, you know, there's things like that. And there's other contributing factors why I believe there's going to be a massive shakeup in the market, which once again means there's massive opportunity for us as real estate investors. So there's going to basically it's supply and demand, right? There is going to be, and I don't know what percent, but an influx of motivated sellers coming into the market and if you remember opportunity number one at the same time, so more supply from our ideal clients as motivated sellers, but less, right? Less competition from other real estate investors. So that's what I want y'all to, to begin looking at, at some of the, the dynamics that are going on right now, because whenever we, we've been waiting for this for a long time, right? As real estate investors, for those of you who've been on the market, especially in my market has just been saturated by so many so many real estate investors and not enough deals, so it's driving up price. So now the pendulum is going to swing, and, and we're really, really excited about it. So let's talk about two more. Let's talk about two more opportunities that are um, in the marketplace. So the next opportunity in the marketplace is creative deals. So this goes back to everything that we've talked about so far: fear, uncertainty, panic, people freaking out, all that type of stuff. So I already shared it with you back in 2008. What I did was I began to put together partnerships, right? I began to put partnerships. I think that you're going to find private lenders, uh, people with money sitting on the sidelines are going to be very open to partnering with you on these deals, right? Because you're going to be able to, to present some very, very uh, favorable numbers, right? That look really good. Real estate's going to be on sale again. So I would be looking for opportunities to create partnerships. I would be looking for our, uh, opportunities for subject to deals as more people are laid off, as more small business owners get behind, have to close their doors. I think you're going to see some opportunities with subject to opportunities for uh, residential properties and commercial properties, right? So, so these increased job layoffs, small business slowdowns, all these types of things are going to create some opportunities with creative deals, commercial properties, residential properties, subject to land partnerships. Keep your eyes out for some creative deal opportunities uh, for sure. And um, lastly, so affordable housing. So some of you know know me have been have been hearing me say this for a very, very long time. I love affordable housing, right? I love to invest in medium price housing and below because look, the truth of the matter is we're always on the verge of recession. Even we're we're in a bull market stock market's going up, guess what? Tomorrow is a new day and we're always on the verge of recession. And every time there's a session, 
recession. Every time there's a there's a market crash, we all know that there's an exchange of wealth that's happening, and the separation from the between the ultra rich and the ultra poor that gap it's it's bigger and bigger and bigger all you know in every single market crash that that we go through that expansion between the rich and the poor widens and widens and widens just means that there's a much greater opportunity for affordable housing that's where my heart is and that's where i believe the greatest opportunity is in real estate that is what i'm most excited about that's why i invest in medium price housing and below that's why i began buying mobile home parks last year so if you're out there you're a real estate investor, you're an agent, you're a wholesaler, you're running across like some mobile home park deals, I'm your guy, send them to me. Uh, but just keep that in mind, right? In this, in this, in this recession that we're likely going into, in this coronavirus, um, you know, freak out pandemic that we're going through, that there is going to be, once again, a transfer of wealth. And, and the fact of the matter is that low income folks are looking for clean, affordable, safe communities to live in. And, and, and that's what we that's what we have the opportunity to do. And I think Sam Walton said is serve the masses to live with the classes. So that's one of my key uh, focuses on my real estate and business. That's what we cover here. Real estate fundamentals, right? The fundamentals of real estate to help you create not only a profitable, but a sustainable business in every market, guys. And this is just another example of why when you build a real estate business built on fundamentals, you can build it and build it to last. So once again, appreciate you all watching this video. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Go to realestatefundamentals.com. You can download a copy of my book. You can get access to some free content, some free training that I'm going to be sharing with you. So I appreciate y'all watching this video and we'll talk to you on the next video.